What's up guys? You know what? I am so sorry. I have done no work on making vlogs over the last two weeks. Uh, last week's was just one clip, I think, and uh, this week's is going to be very... Sorry about that. Uh, what's up guys? I did just... I was just working on a clip, but uh, my phone interrupted me rudely to tell me that there's a flash flood watt warning and tornado warning in my area so that was great anyways i have done little to nothing in regards to uh vlog work over the last two weeks and i i i apologize you guys i've just not really had anything that i felt was vlog worthy um so i mean this is pretty much going to be it for this week uh, but I can, you know, do a little recap of my week and what it is I did or did not do, I guess, right? Um, what did I do this week? I worked on the IC table getting my money refunded. PayPal's going to refund all of my transactions within, like, 10 days, and that started a few days ago. So, uh, they're gonna, they're disputing it, and if, if the dispute goes through within 10 days, and which I don't imagine it will be a problem, then I have like, I don't know, I think they said between 30 days or possibly between 30 and 90 or something like that, that my money will reappear back on my card. Uh, I imagine it probably won't take that long. But my bank is making it so much harder to get this done. They want to mail me some forms that I have to fill out. Uh, then I have to give them copies of all of my emails that I had with IC table. Then I have to fucking mail that stuff all back to them. And then I have to wait for them to get a decision. Then I have to wait for them to refund my money. I don't get it. Why is PayPal, who isn't even my bank, a better fucking partner to have managing my money than my bank? Don't use ADP. ADP, it, they suck. I mean, for a bank, they don't work very hard for me. Or, you know what, maybe they're working hard for me than they really need to. They're making everything so much more work than it actually has to be on my end. I'm the one that got screwed. I shouldn't be the one having to put in all this effort to, to have things made right. My bank should make that effort when I tell them, hey, you know what? This company says they can't provide the product that I, that I, they never provided the product. And they said to just request a refund, they'll be cool with it. And I do that, and then my, the, my bank is the one that's making it hard. The company is willing to give my money back. PayPal can get me my money back without any hassle, but my bank can't. I, I just, it makes no sense. Banks are dying. Like, the, the way they are right now are dying. Uh, it's turning more to these uh, online... I don't know how to explain it. Like, brick and mortar... That was a dumb statement. Banks, banks will never die. That was retarded. Okay. Let's just pretend like I never said that. Uh, also, man, I had a really, really rough week. My depression that I deal with, it... Uh, it kind of rolled ruled my life for a few days um and I was having a really hard time dealing with stuff <sighs> yeah it's a hard thing for me to talk about and deal with in regards to depression I mean I don't really have anyone I can really just open up and, it, and let my my inner turmoil loose you know uh, I hope. Jeez, I don't know if you guys can hear all that, but it's loud. I have, my backpack is soaking wet, uh, which normally wouldn't matter, but my laptop was in my backpack, so I'm hoping that uh, that's all good. Um. Titan, I just realized... Alright, he loves the rain, okay? I just put two and two together. Because uh, I was a bit slow on this. But his favorite weather. His favorite weather is cloudy weather. Whether it's raining or not. Just the very... The, the very possibility 
that it could rain makes it his favorite weather. He likes to just go out there and lay down when it's downpouring. He, he'll, he'll beg to go outside when it's raining. Uh, it don't care, he don't care if it's lightning and thunder everywhere. He's all about just enjoying. I think it's just because it's cooler weather. Or he just loves the rain. But he doesn't like showers or baths. What a weirdo. I forgot my uh, toothache stuff. So I had to go to Walgreens and buy another whole jar of it. Oh, my roommate is frustrating me because he's always short on his rent. Uh, or his electric every freaking month. And he's not helping me out around the house, David, uh, rarely. Um, financially, he's not being very useful. He's, like, not paying for his... He's not buying any food. He hasn't bought any food in the house for, like, two months at all. But he's eaten. Um, I, I, I'm sort of getting frustrated with him. I'm feeling like he's taking advantage but I don't feel like there's anything I could do about it. Uh, you probably ain't even going to like the fact that I vlogged about it. But deal with it. You know? Deal with it. Ah, uh, shoot. What else we got going on? Um, rent was due this week. That was glorious. Everyone loves to pay their rent, right? Uh, so I got the rent paid for. Man in the High Castle finally came back after, like, freaking a two-year hiatus. Gosh, I can't stand that. I can't stand it when a TV show... I can't stand the way TV shows work in general these days for the past 15 years or so. <laughs> these days for the past 15 years. Uh, ever since that big writer's strike, I think in the early 2000s or mid-2000s, uh... TV shows have been a lot lazier in their uh, timings. Like, you got shows that do that, come out once every two years. But you got a lot of shows, a lot of shows, that only come out between 6 and 13 episodes. And I can't stand that. What happened to these tw between 21 and 25 uh, episode seasons of almost every show? I, I'm an avid TV show collector. And I could tell you that I could take a complete different or a complete comparison between the 80s, 90s, and the 2000s and 2010s, and I could show you a difference in a, a major shift in the way television is uh, produced. Uh, and it's annoying because I prefer a good. I want my shows. I need my my shows. Don't interrupt me when I'm watching my shows. My stories. Anyways, that's all I've got for you guys today. Uh, thanks for watching the vlog. Again, I'm sorry. I was really contemplating just being done with vlogging. Uh, because I just felt like I wasn't... I wasn't it wasn't worth it. I wasn't doing anything. There was no point in vlogging something if you're not... If you don't have anything to actually vlog. But then I thought to myself that... I'm really just doing this so that I... I have something to look back on. And so... Whether I've got something important to vlog... Or something entertaining that someone's going to want to see... It, none of that really matters. It's that I'm doing it because I want to have documentation of my life. Oh my gosh, I can't stand that. And it's still in my way. Stupid cord. <sighs> Anyways. Yeah. This is going to be it. Thanks for watching the vlog. I will... Catch you guys on the flippity floppity. And I hope I didn't leave my hard drive at home because that hard drive 
has all my shows on it. Hard drive. Later. Bye. These deer guys. They're literally like 15 feet away from me. Well, I guess you'd say more like 30 feet. And that far one's probably about 50 feet. They're youngins. I think they're both girls. I should, I should put on a YouTube video that plays deer call sounds. I gotta do it. Let's see what, if I can get, if I can get their attention. Well, unfortunately, just as I was about to start the recording back up and uh, try and trick the deers or mess with the deers, one of my drivers had to just come zooming down the road and scare them off, so figures.